She was born on the 7th of February 1942. Irama Ade was born on the 7th of February 1942 in Nkoko in the eastern region of Ghana. She was born to one Samuel Joseph Cole and Angelina Kofi Cole. She was educated at the Monica's Secondary School, St. Monica's Secondary School in Mampon, Ashanti, from January 1956 to June 1960, where she excelled in sports and obtained her A-level, O-level certificates. She also attended the Holy, the Holy Child Girls School in Cape Coast, where she earned her bachelor's degree with first-class honors in Botany with Chemistry from the University of Ghana, Legon. She later obtained her master's degree and doctorate degree in biochemistry from the Pennsylvania State University. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Professor Irama Adi, the woman behind the National Mass and Science Quiz. She actually started it. She is the pioneer of that program. She originated, she founded, she started it. She actually orchestrated it for a reason, and I'll be telling you. Now, Adi, Professor Adi reached the rank of full professor of biochemistry at the University of Ghana, where she was not the only first female professor in the sciences at the university, but also in Ghana as a whole country. At the same university, she became the head of the department for biochemistry cell and molecular biology from 1988 to 1991 and 1994 to 1997. She retired in 2002 as a professor of biochemistry. During her time as a professor and department head, she was a chair of the policy committee on development countries, I mean on developing countries, I beg your pardon, and chaired the national board for the professional and technicians examination. She served as the program director for the Accra-based science education program for Africa, a Pan-African program for the pre-tertiary science education in 1970s. In the 1970s. She served on the Kwame Committee, a technical committee on polytechnic education set up by the National Council for Tertiary Education to study and recommend policies to assist the Ghanaian government in supporting polytechnic education. So today, whether we are pleased with the courses we are studying in our polytechnics or technical universities or not, she has a hand in them. She has a hand in them. She's part of the committee that was set up to actually look into the programs we study in our polytechnics so as to make them useful to our country, so as to make people, graduates of our polytechnic, useful to our country. So today, if graduates of our polytechnic or our technical universities are useful to our country or not useful to our country, she's part of it. She served as the program director for the Accra-based science education program for Africa, a Pan-African program for pre-tertiary school education, I mean pre-tertiary science education in the 1970s. She served on the Kwame Committee, a technical committee on polytechnic education set up by the National Council for Tertiary Education to study and recommend policies to assist the Ghanaian government in supporting polytechnic education. In 1994, she was also a member of the four member four member board Yes, in 1994, she was also a member of a four-member UNDP team of consultants in Ghana, tasked with formulating a national action program for science and technology development. She was a board member of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission from 1996 to 1998. She served as a member of the World Health Organization Regional Expert Committee on, tech, on traditional medicine, on traditional medicine, and worked as an advisor to the International Foundation for Science in Sweden. She was the founder and first executive secretary of West African Network of Natural Products Research Scientists. 
which was established in February 2002. She had extensive experience in both basic and applied science, lecturing to undergraduates, postgraduates, dental and medical students at the University of Ghana, Legon, and subsequently at Harvard University College of Medicine in Washington, D.C. In January 2008, Professor Adi was appointed as the first president of the Anglican University of Technology, a technology initiative in higher education. Her autobiography, Rewards, was published in 2011. Together with her two sisters, Jean and Elizabeth, she instituted an award for the best girl child at, the, at her alma mater, her former school, St. Monica Secondary School. The Ghanaian government appointed her an officer of the Order of the Vulture for her contributions to science and girl-child education. <laughs> Professor Adi focuses, she focuses on academic, I mean, she's, her focus on academic research was the biochemistry of herbal medicine products used by national medicine, I mean medical practitioners to treat common ailments, especially in the area relating to their safety and efficiency. So today, if you have people, I mean, packaging and rebranding herbal medicine for our consumption, so people feel comfortable now to go and buy herbal medicine, so people like adding herbs, roots and herbs, can market their products all over, that is because somebody like Professor Adi uh, focused on academic research. She focused on academic research with regards to herbal medicine. So Adi's focus of academic research was the biometric, I mean biochemistry of herbal medicine products used by traditional medicine, I mean traditional medical practitioners to treat common ailments, especially in areas relating to their safety and efficiency. So she actually went into the laboratory, did research, I mean, to actually make sure the herbal medicines we consume or we like so much are protected. They come with a lot of efficiency and a lot of guide, safety, you know. And she made it easy for us to feel comfortable to buy herbal medicine today and use herbal medicine today. One of Dr. Adi's major contributions to Ghana and anyone who watched it was the National Science and Mass Quiz Show. This show was actually provided, this show, this show actually provided senior high school students around Ghana and its environs, around Ghana and neighboring country Ghana, the opportunity to compete in a skills, I mean in a skills, mass and size quiz. <laughs> Professor Adi's main purpose in starting the show was to promote science and mass to the public and show its importance in daily life, as well as to influence more children, especially young girls, to go into the field of sciences. And I saw a video on social media yesterday where a university in China, a university in China, students of a university in China were busy assembling gadgets. And then they match it up with students of the University of Kwame Nkrumah, University of uh, Science and Technology in Accra. They were shaking jama and dancing heavily, sweating profusely. Shaking jama and dancing seriously. They want to me dance some. And somebody actually put the two videos together. University students in China busy assembling gadgets and, 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 and improving lives with gadgets. And then they showed our University of Technology and they were busy singing and dancing, jama, you know, sweating profusely. And I was sad when I saw that comparison. I was like, wow, no, no man. For a University of Science and Technology, there shouldn't be time at all for such jokes, for such play. Because they, 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 their mind is occupied by, I mean, modifications, inventions, you know. But our technical universities and our technology universities in Ghana, the less said about them, the better. The Logons are busy doing English, brothel. And the schools that are supposed to be doing practicals are busy. Busy engaging in other extra, other extra curriculums rather than paying attention to creations and inventions. 
And this is not what the likes of Professor Marion Adi lived for. They wanted to see us progress in life to the extent of affecting society with our field of study. So you come out of school with a certificate, you can change lives with it, touch lives with it. Today, many are those working with doctorate degrees. Many are those working with master's degrees. And it can't even show in their character. You can't even detect that in their character. Unless they show you the paper, you won't even believe they hold a doctorate degree. But holding a doctorate degree or a master's degree should actually show the character, show in your character. Your character should say, no, man, this guy has a doctorate degree by, by the way, you know. And this is what the likes of Professor Marin Adi lead for. This is what they wanted to see. With the kind of policies they tried creating and implementing for us, that's what they wanted us to see. That's why she actually created that particular science and math quiz to make sure our day-to-day -day life is affected by science and math. The very science and math we study in school, we found X. Uh, every day we are finding X, find X, find Y, find X. Today we have YFM. You found the Y. Where is the X? We will, we will be finding X and Y since JSS. Find X, find Y. Today, like I said, we found Y. Y is here, YFM. Where is the X? We are still finding X. How is that affecting our lives? That should be affecting our lives in various ways. Now, Marian Adi, Professor Marian Irama Adi, was married to Ebenezer Charles Oku Adi, a sociologist and former athlete who won a gold medal in the 4 by 100 meters relay at the 1966 Commonwealth Games in Kingston, Jamaica. You take a Ghanaian to Jamaica to go and win a race, athletics. Hey, then that's an exceptional runner, Jamaica. Jamaicans are runners. When they take their thing and they set off to run, you can't stop them. You see in Bolt, when he, Jamaicans are known. Aside reggae music, they are known for running, running. But her husband went to Jamaica to win gold medal in the 40 by 100, really, meters really, in 1966 Commonwealth Games, Kingston, Jamaica. They had two daughters. They had Na Lamile, Na Lamile Adi and Lamioko Esi Adi. They gave them traditional names, native names, local names. No brothel, no brothel name, no man. They gave them local ones. Two daughters. She died of natural causes on the 14th of January 2014 at Kolibu Teaching Hospital in Accra. She was buried on the 4th March 2014 in Salt Pond, a historic coastal town in the central region of Ghana. A science laboratory at the Department of Biochemistry, Cell and Molecular Biology at the University of Ghana was named the Marian Irama Adi Laboratory for Medical Plants and Natural Products Research in her honor. So you go to the University of Ghana, there's a lab, a lab a laboratory named after her. And the lab, that particular lab is responsible for plants and natural products research. And that is because that was what she lived for. The biochemistry department also instituted the annual Professor Marian Adi memorial lecture in her memory. Her research work in the medicinal, you know, biochemistry of herbal products made herbal medicine more popular and acceptable to the scientific community. Before, the World Health Organization didn't want to accept our traditional medicine. They, they say, oh, they are, on, they, are, they are not hygienic enough. They are not potent enough. No man, overdose and all of that. She made them acceptable to the scientific community. National Science and Mass Quiz still occurs every year and continues to bring science to the forefront of the public. Through Through her works, yes, her initiative, it still runs and it continues to promote math and science to young children in Ghana and beyond. Today, we honor Professor Marian Adi, Professor Iwurama 
Adi for all her great works. She is a legend. Yes, a legend. Whether dead or alive, she still remains a legendary. <laughs> Some things are just never said, no. 